morning guys so i thought this would be a good way to start this video is kind of seeing how i get ready for the day so i'm going to do a super quick makeup look that i do um if i have to film a video or um <laughs> or um run an errand or anything so i just want to film that real quick for you i want to share a recipe with you i think there's a couple other things i want to share some sweet moments throughout the day with mr milo who is currently getting into my drawers so i have to make this quick the first clip you saw was him he's been carrying around that little mat that i put under his um high chair all morning like he's just been walking up and down the hallways with it so that's what he's doing today so i absolutely love this this is the poor professional like poor cream Thing that you put on your face that is supposed to help with your pores anyways it makes my face feel super smooth and I have kind of oily slash dry skin so I really like this it just makes my face feel really good for the day and some days if I'm just gonna be at home but I'm gonna be doing a lot with him and get oily and stuff I'll put this on Milo by having Milo who is now almost 17 months I have learned to do this super quick so one thing I did want to share with you guys is I absolutely love this cover FX um, pressed foundation and when I went to Sephora to get it they said that it was no longer being made or whatever which is not true so it is still being made but it's being sold at Ulta I wish they had told me that bit because I went and bought this bare minerals stuff at Sephora which is okay I just prefer this cover FX foundation versus this stuff so if you do like this stuff I would go to Ulta to check it out um so I'm gonna use this just because I'm almost out of it. Sometimes I will, depending on how tired I look, I absolutely love this concealer. It's the CoverGirl True Blend Undercover, and I think it's almost just as good as that Tarte. It does really good covering. Milo! And one thing too nice with this, especially having a toddler, is I can carry this with me while I go find where he is. <laughs> This here is by um, Laga, L-A-G-A, -A Bee Lighter. I think I've reviewed this before and I'll try to leave it linked down below. But I actually got this in, my husband got me like a test three month Ipsy box or something like this. And I got it originally in this L-A-Q, L-A-Q-A and Co. It's a blush highlighter mix and it's in this color and I really like it. Also good about this, super easy to do while you're chasing a toddler. I feel like it lasts all day too and it gives enough color, but not too much. Um, just to open, lighten my eyes some, I like this little e.l.f. pack or e.l.f. bite size eyeshadow. It's called Cream and Sugar. kind of mix these two shades right here sometimes I'll do that third shade or use this shade as like an eyeliner so the last step I do is this mascara and it is the rocket volume express I am all done now I feel like this lighting in here is kind of washing me out a little bit I sometimes will add lip stuff but normally I just add some Burt's Bees so I'm gonna finish getting dressed and then I will check in with you guys sometimes later
normally we read books in the morning after I get done a couple more things, but he was sitting here so cute, so I decided to go ahead and take this moment and read some of the books with him. I do plan on filming a video about like educating my now almost 17 month old. We kind of have this routine we do of book reading and different skills we work on. I hope that might be my next video that I'm going to try to share with you guys. But yeah, this was just too cute to pass up spending some time reading with him. Hey guys, I just wanted to share real quick this outfit with you. This like feels like pajamas and kind of looks like pajamas, but it is not pajamas. Um, I got these pants off the Jane app and um, it's similar to Etsy. I think it's like boutique clothes that they sell for cheaper. And there's an app, it's just Jane if you look it up. Anyways, these were like less than 20 bucks. And they are so comfy. Like I said, they look like pajamas. And I love wearing them because they're kind of like those gaucho pants. So like printed gaucho pants. And then this is just a t-shirt that I got from Target. Target's been having their t-shirts for sale. I got another stripe one that's super cute. So this is what I am wearing today. They do have a little bit of drawstring here, but you could easily tuck that in so you don't have the string hanging out. And Milo loves this mirror here. And then these are these house shoes that I got off Amazon and I absolutely love these house shoes and they last for months and don't like lose the firmness in the bottom of them like some do. And I'll try to leave these linked below too. So this is the outfit of the day. Now it's time to get him dressed. So I'm just checking in real quick. We just ate lunch. Milo is transitioning from moving his nap further and further back in the day. For the longest time he would nap in between like 10.30 to 1. And now he is not napping then. So he's kind of getting kind of fussy around 10.30 or 11 still but he will not go to sleep. He's normally okay after he gets a little bit of milk and he eats some. So hopefully he's going to go to sleep around 1. But Sometimes he makes it all the way till 2, 2.30 before he falls asleep. And sometimes then he only naps like 40 minutes. So I'm hoping this is just a phase we're going through. But I showed you um, him playing with his letters. And I wanted to show you this real quick. So this is something we got off Amazon, which I'll leave link below. And you can line your fireplace or anything you're worried about. Milo did have a little bit of an accident one day and popped his forehead pretty good against this thankfully it just caused a bruise it didn't cut him or anything and that's when we decided to put this on there and it's very um cushiony since we have actually since we've actually put that on there he has not fallen at all around it um but i really recommend this my mom is actually going to get it for her fireplace when she's down there and um it's got great reviews on Amazon. I did hear it can be a pain to take off, but I think someone said use some WD-40 on it or something to get it off. We have not had to take it off yet, so I can't speak to that. But one thing too, it is providing like a little ledge that helps keep, it is providing like a little ledge that helps keep his letters on. And he really seems to enjoy that. It's like his own little workspace. So I highly recommend getting that if you have a toddler. So Milo went down for a nap and during this time I sometimes use it to work or to get other projects done but I was not able to do my devotional this morning so I used this time to do my devotional. I have been listening to actually on the Bible app a Psalms reading plan to read through Psalms in a month and it has taken longer than a month but that's okay and I share this plan with you guys. I also use this time to drink my second cup of coffee.
guys I really love this vacuum and I wanted to share with you real quick I think I've seen a couple different sales on Amazon for the whole Black Friday thing they've been doing it and this is the brand <laughs> I don't know if you can make it out. T-I-N-E-C-O. And I'll try to leave it linked below. I absolutely love this vacuum. It is so light, easy to clean out the filters and everything. You can detach different ends here. As you can see, Milo loves this vacuum too. You can detach different ends here. I've used that to get places in the couch. And I've also used it to get like cobwebs and stuff in the corner. But I really love this vacuum. Um, I can show you the charging station really quick. Most batteries, I'll charge them overnight. Most batteries, I'll charge them overnight, and then they're charged in the morning. And I feel pretty safe with him just playing with it, which he loves to actually just play it and push it around. But this here is the charging station. I don't have it plugged into the wall because he'll try to pull it out. But you can see the other battery we ended up, which did cost more. We have the different filters, and we have the different filters here that you can use. This vacuum is super easy to use and just vacuum different areas. I use it every night. At least I use it every night in the dining room in the kitchen and it hasn't messed up yet. We've had it for probably a year. So I highly, highly recommend this vacuum. guys I am literally having to step in a back bedroom in the back of the house sorry about the lighting to tell you about this real quick because Milo is playing his sloth linkable animal from Fisher Price constantly so there's no way you'd be able to hear me but in this recipe I show you the meatloaf seasoning because that is what was in the original recipe but I only have one packet of that and I'm saving it to use over the holidays so I'm using the cracked black pepper steak which I have used before and this is Victoria Taylor seasoning and it is gluten free. They sell it at Myers here, but I believe she does have a website you can order from as well. But this is good. It's not as good as the meatloaf seasoning in my opinion, but it is a good replacement if you can't find the meatloaf seasoning. you that I got this recipe from my sister-in-law. I forget exactly where she got it from, from a cookbook or a friend at church, and she made it for us when we were visiting Michigan, and it was absolutely delicious, and I've made it a couple times now, and it's a new family favorite. So that's why I wanted to share it with you guys, because I think it's a good um, vegetarian option for the holidays coming up to take to different family gatherings. So I hope you guys like this recipe. Big thanks to my sister-in-law. So I'm gonna end this vlog here, 
Me and Milo are about to eat supper tonight. My husband's gonna be um, a little bit late and we have errands to run, so we're gonna go ahead and eat. And then after our errands, it's kind of a tradition that when we run errands in the evening, we stop and get a Chick-fil-A milkshake on the way home as dessert. So we are gonna eat our food together and then run errands. Yeah. So, <laughs> so I hope you guys like this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Bye guys. Like mashed potatoes? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Milo. Milo.